Our next guest in this segment is Mary Beth Blair, MB Squared. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you guys? If you're here, it must be Youth Fair time. It is, indeed. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it starts, what, this uh, Friday? Uh, yes, it does start. Officially, the start is August 3rd. That's mm-hmm. when the fair actually opens. But Friday night, they will crown a new Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair. So that's mm-hmm. Friday night at the fairgrounds as well. But the fair actually technically doesn't open until Saturday. Right. We met the outgoing Miss Youth Fair 2023, whose sister had won it the year before. Yes, that was the first in history, back-to-back sisters. That was pretty cool. Impressive. Amelia mm -hmm. Yeah. and Peyton. Very nicely done. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a couple of other... uh, uh, folks in yesterday who mm-hmm. are Exhibitors. now, uh, I guess one is graduated from high school and off to college, the other one's a senior. Mm-hmm. And they're always very impressive. These kids learn so much from presenting their animals, caring for them, Absolutely. selling them. They learn the business. Mm-hmm. They learn the responsibility. They're always impressive. They are. And I've always said in the years that I've been working with this organization since 2020, when we did the virtual fair right here in the studio, I've never been more impressed or more uh, my faith renewed in our um, community community and in young people than when I get to interact with all of the exhibitors at the youth fair. They are just the highest caliber of young people. Um, Their manners, their hard work, uh, they're they're just a delight to be around. So absolutely, they are the best of the best. The virtual youth fair was brought about because of COVID. That's right. And it was going to be a situation where these kids who had done so much work were not going to be able to show and present their animals. So they made videos. Right. And then we took those videos and along with you and Matt Crawford. uh, No, no, no. Was that who it was? Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Oh, okay. I was thinking of the other Crawford that's not with us today. Yeah. Uh, And you guys did hours and hours of those videos yes and you would introduce the basically like a a three or four minute video we would play it on tv and that's how the whole tv 10 involvement started now we're not there's been some changes so we're not broadcasting the youth fair around the clock basically we won't be out there i'm of course a little sad about that i think we all are who were involved in it and a lot of audience this was not our decision it wasn't my decision your decision no one um it was just a change that the new board uh had decided this year that they were going to go in that they weren't going to offer that feature um and so um that that's that's not something that people can tune into to watch and that's been a i've gotten that question pretty much everywhere i've gone lately are you you know are you guys going to be on on the air so no we won't be on on air live every day so you have to come out to the fair that's why it's so important and uh, to come out and support those who are showing and invest in their lives but also just to get the experience firsthand there's nothing like being there in person and i know the, the biggest draw for our uh live coverage was really the older population and the young people who um, don't get to see it because they're working you know Mm -hmm. they're out there working or their parents are and so it it gave them a chance to see it later so yeah that is a change um, in this year's fair there are a lot of new things too we should talk about and um, a couple new uh, features that sunday night they have a concert a worship night with a really great um, group called sanctus real a Grammy nominated group that's coming in that'll be in the amphitheater so that's a new uh, feature this year they also people love the rodeo like the rodeo is the the one of the biggest draws of the youth fair with bull uh, bull ride mania they are so popular and very entertaining love going to that show it's gonna be two nights this year so not just one on Tuesday night but Tuesday night and Wednesday night and they've also added to the mix this year on the last day of the the fair a pro uh, wrestling live event, which is kind of crazy. I don't know what to think about that, but hey, it's popular and people have asked for it. So it's gonna be there. And in addition to the new things, all the things that your um, people love, the tractor pulls are on the, their regular nights, the um, the side-by-side flat drags, the demo derby on the last night of the fair. And of course, those who are w- wanting to invest back into our youth, the livestock sale and auction on Friday night where the exhibitors who have market animals will have the opportunity to sell what they've invested into for the past year to people who want to either have it as something they consume or they turn it around and sell it for profit themselves. Mm -hmm. So, so much to look forward to. And oh my gosh, there's so many vendors, both commercial and uh, food vendors. It's it's a really good action-packed fair. Carnival, all seven nights so that opens up on saturday in years past it's only been maybe a few nights of the fair but it's all seven 
day. So I think that's a good decision. Yeah. As a recent immigrant from Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. um, where everything is just so Northern Virginian, <laughs> I, I went to the to the fair last year. Okay. And it is such a slice of Americana mm -hmm. that for people, I guess, who grow up here and have always lived here, you get used to it. Absolutely. It it was such an inspiring <laughs> and lovely thing mm -hmm. to witness. Went to the rodeo and, you know, when when the the, the horses come oh, in with, with the flags and, yes, and very the prayers. And, and I loved the, it. it. was It really is, it, it was exactly what I was hoping uh -huh. I was moving into when, uh -huh. when I moved out here. So yes. for those who are out there and, and you you are new to the area, right? you need to go to this thing. The, the, right. the uh, enthusiasm among the kids and among the adults, right. everybody is just happy. There. Right. They're also really hot and sweaty and everybody's well, wet. One way or the other, it's either going to rain or well, you're going to be sweaty. Well, it's going to be a hot week and <laughs> that's just youth fair, right? And so that's, and because people love the rodeo so much and, you know, and lo rightly so, a lot of people get frustrated because there's an, the the grandstands only hold so many people, right? And now there that that was one of the biggest you know reasons of let's make it two nights because people some people can't get into the first night or get a seat that gives a second night option. Uh, the other thing that's great is a lot of people don't realize there's I mean some people will complain on our social media well it costs too much but let me tell you seven bucks to get in and then you don't pay extra for the rodeo you don't pay extra for the the concerts you obviously you, you do have to pay for extra for the carnival because that that is not run by the berkeley county youth fair it's run by another a, a carnival organization the coal rides uh organization brings that in and they charge extra for rides but it really is such a good value and uh, that's another new thing that they've um, integrated this year into the fair is it's always been a complaint that we can't we have to have cash to get in this year that you can use a card there will be a card option at all of the um most of i should say the food vendors uh and concession stands as well as at the gate and that means a lot to people for convenience sake they don't have to swing by the bank or an atm there is an atm on site but it's it's still it's, and it's not that tawdry carney feel to it yes. that you get out of these no. parking lot things. No. <laughs> Carney, I like that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> well, you know, it's that's what I grew up right. with. No. You know, it, no. and, it, and it's, it's entirely different. It is. You're the right. big takeaway for me from the rodeo is how long eight seconds really is. Right. For those yes. guys on the bull. Right. That is really a very, very long right. time. And it's not just a show for them. They're on a circuit. They're really? trying to build all their points up to get to their big uh, end of the year uh, circuit competition so mm -hmm. it, it it's realistic it's not just make-believe or whatever entertainment so how much more do you know about animals now than you knew oh in 2020 when you started doing the virtual fair well, on this was, tv channel that was always the the running um fun joke with me and mikey and how much he taught us here as well as myself and even just as a as the host down at the fair learning so much i i mean literally went from no knowledge to mm -hmm. so much a wealth of knowledge about the various animal breeds and how the, the what goes into what the kids do to prepare for the fair um, but in general yes I would say from here to there I mean it really was an eye-opener and so educational I was so grateful for that 2020 fair but honestly even every year after that when we do the interviews always there was a takeaway in fact Mikey Withrow even taught me how to better shuck an ear of corn I mean, oh, yeah. what's the, what's the I, technique? Know, I used to just peel sure. away, right? And it, it was, can be tedious. And he said, Mary Beth, you take it at the top and you just grab two pieces and you just strip it down. Take the Band-Aid off yeah, all at once. Just, and, it, and really, it does. It comes down in two pieces, crack the end off, and you're done. It's like really two, two movements. Pull it down, crack it off, you're done. And the ear just <laughs> falls? Yeah, pretty. I mean, when you snap the end, you've got, you've got the whole shell off and i mean you got there's a little silk left on there you gotta yeah. you know work with but it's common just sense right? silly things like i was teaching my grandkids that at the beach like it's so easy let me show you and i always think fondly of my friend mikey yeah and he's got a great beard he does what a great great person yeah so uh for the fair they're doing the all you can unlimited ride night with the with the pass is that, is that back yes you can go on to colrides.com and get your wristband and you mm -hmm. can ride 
you know, unlimited rides with wristbands. There's There are different promotions for the carnival where some nights are, you know, better priced than others. Um, I thought you were going when you said that all you can. I thought you were going to say, like, eat contests, like the, the donut and the, yeah, well, the watermelon. And, and there are some of the, all those fun contests for the exhibitors. But it's so fun to watch those. One thing that the, another thing the community might be interested in is the youth um, the youth fake auction, which is a lot of the local organizations who are part of the youth fair, they bring these amazing baskets full of whatever they've decided that their baskets going to be full of that year, whether it's cookies, cakes, all kinds of great things, and they auction them off and for profit for their organization, and that's another fun night to a uh, fun event. Well, so. last year the admiral yes judged the apple pie eating contest. Oh, he had no. to taste every one of them. No, wait. Was that was in, at Apple Harvest? That's, oh, was that Apple yes, Harvest? Oh, okay. Which I'm also right. it's, it's okay. I'm also a part of that, so that's why. All right. We're so the link use, that I have and it's at is, the okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But that'll be coming up next. That'll be right. my next stop. Hey, Jim, uh, Ken Matson, who's the horse guy around here, uh -huh. said there's been a change. The horse owners cannot stay overnight to watch over their horses. Any knowledge of that? I'm about? I'm not aware of that because that's you know that would be administrative. Mm -hmm. So. I just do promotions. I don't know the answer to that. But certainly, if you would put that on our Facebook page for question, I could get it answered by someone on the board. Chalk Not it sure up as why. another change, Ken. Yeah. yeah there, and, and there were other changes this year for the good, like a lot of improvements. Uh, people will see a different arena when they come there. They did a lot of construction and renovation um, to that indoor arena, and uh, in, insulation is a big thing. Now, why did they choose to insulate after we – are no longer there. We would sweat our, you know what's off, and you know, d bring, bringing you a live Lexi, show. Right? Yes. Your oh my gosh, it was real. Even more so inside that building than outside on the fairgrounds. You know, no airflow or anything, and so they've insulated that building this year. And they said it's brought the temperature down in that building significantly, which is great for the animals and the exhibitors. We're not. I mean, it wasn't for us to begin with, but we kind of laughed still. about it. You know, um, but th they even did some modifications to the stage in there and i know they had a water project too uh where they did a lot of work with improvement of water throughout the the fairgrounds which is obviously important for the animals and getting water in mm -hmm. irrigation there for different reasons and a week like this if there's no rain and the heat is as high as it is it's going to be dry and they're going to need that it's water. holding <laughs> off for the fair it always does yes hey next week you will be in on uh what monday and thursday yes. to just to give us an update of what happened over the weekend some of the that. award winners absolutely i'm and happy to thursday, do that thursday you'll do the same as to who yes. won stuff between monday and uh because i'm, I'm gonna night. be there every night i will be there even though i won't be bringing live coverage i'm gonna be there in my role for promotions and just be capturing imagery along with the still photographers to bring it to the public and you know i will definitely bring my recaps of winners and things of that nature too so Yes, we'll still do our best to keep you, keep the public informed. Yeah, and uh, feel free to bring a, 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 an award winner with you. I will do that. I, have, I will I do that. I have room for one. I will look forward right, to that. Yep. Okay, so uh, tomorrow night they crown the new Miss Youth Fair, and then Saturday night, it's or Saturday, it's open to the public, open and it starts in earnest. And Saturday, there's no gate fee. So if you want to come to the carnival without paying a gate fee, that would be the night to do it. Free admission. Free admission. On Saturday, yes. this weekend, Saturday. That's it. And it concludes the following Saturday. Correct. Yeah. Mary Beth, good to see you again. Good to see you guys. Hope Thank you, you enjoyed for your vacation, me. by the way. I, I did, 100%. Yeah, we had your husband in yesterday. I know, that was fun. Back to back, Blair's. We need a, we need your son tomorrow, and then we okay, got, the, we got it, it set. Yeah, there you right? go. That's right.